Story recap tier. Today, I'm going to explain a horror film called Hatching. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Tinia practices gymnastics when her mother comes behind her while vlogging and tickles her. Afterward, Tinia goes to her father and tickles him while her mother records. Afterward, their entire family says goodbye to the camera, finishing their vlog. They hear a thud on the window, so Tinia checks it and sees a feather sticking to it. When she opens the window, a crow flies inside, immediately knocking over their glass deckers. While Tinia picks up the broken pieces of a vase, her younger brother, Matias, chases the crow. Though Matias and their father try to catch the crow, the mother worries about the decker that the crow knocks over. When the crow perches on a chandelier, the fixture breaks, falling onto a glass table. The crow lands on the floor, so Tinia throws a blanket over it. She asks if she could take it outside, but her mother asks for it. She snaps the bird's neck, much to Tinia's shock. At her mother's orders, Tinia throws the crow into the trash bin. Though when Tinia closes the lid, she doesn't notice that the crow's wings continue to flutter. Later, Tinia meets the new kid next door, Retta, who lets Tinia pet her dog. However, the dog bites Tinia's hand, much to Retta's surprise since her dog hasn't done that before. At night, their mother tries singing Matias to sleep, but he keeps demanding her to be louder. When she's unable to satisfy Matias, Tinia joins her mother in singing. After a while, Tinia joins her mother in her bedroom, where her mother shows Tinia the new introduction video of their vlog, which depicts them as a perfect family. In a clip of her practicing gymnastics, Tinia notices that her form was off, so her mother says she'll cut it from the video. Afterward, Tinia shares that Retta was inviting her over, but her mother tells her to focus on an upcoming gymnastics competition. While trying to sleep, Tinia hears a cawing sound, so she checks the waste bin only to see that the crow is gone. She follows the sound into the woods and finds the crow suffering on the ground. To put it out of its misery, Tinia bashes its head with a rock. Then, she spots an egg on the nest, so Tinia takes it home and warms it up under her teddy bear. During gymnastics practice the following day, Tinia does the first half of her routine flawlessly, but she couldn't do the final flip and make a good landing. The coach tells her that she won't be able to compete if she doesn't perfect it. Afterward, her fellow gymnasts invite her to hang out, but Tinia declines, saying she's going for a run. When one girl tries convincing her to go with them instead, the other girls just leave, saying Tinia never hangs out with them. Upset, Tinia runs home, only to catch her mother kissing their repairman, Tero. Later, her mother goes to her room and gives her the outfit for the competition. Then, she tells Tinia about Tero, saying that adults have special friends. She asks Tinia to keep it a secret before saying she'll be gone for a couple of days. After her mother leaves, Tinia checks the egg and hears a beating heart inside. Days later, Tinia vlogs her father and Matias baking. When their mother arrives, Matias hugs her, but she points out that Matias has dirtied her dress. Greeting her husband, she says she had a lovely business trip. Later, Tinia goes to her father's room but can't tell him anything. Instead, she says her mother had a good blog seminar. Back in her room, Tinia notices that the egg is growing bigger, so she cuts her teddy bear's chest to hide it inside. The next day in gymnastics practice, Tinia still can't do a perfect landing, but her mom cheers her on. Then, Retta appears as a new student and shows a flawless routine, so Tinia's mother makes her stay after hours to keep practicing until Tinia's hands get raw from calluses. Though the coach tells them it's time to lock up, her mother doesn't let her stop until she nails a perfect landing. In her bedroom, Tinia observes the growing egg, having comfort in seeing the life form within. Meanwhile, her mother checks herself in the mirror but looks in scorn at a scar on her leg. One night, Tinia watches their vlog together before her mother tells her that she's in love with Tero, and it's the first time she's felt like that for someone. Though in tears, Tinia says she understands. Later, Tinia cries on top of her egg, which is now almost as large as her. When her tears land on the egg, it absorbs the fluid and starts hatching. With the shell slowly coming off, a claw pops out of the membrane, so Tinia hides inside the closet. Peeking through the cracks, Tinia sees a large bird pop out. After closing her eyes, she looks around the room but sees that it's gone, only for it to peek inside the closet before jumping out the window. When her father checks in on her, Tinia immediately covers the remnants of the hatching on her bed, then tells her father that a bird crashed into her room. The next night, the bird comes crawling back into her room, so Tinia backs away in fear. However, when she notices that the bird has a glass pierced through its arm, Tinia removes it. Tinia covers her face when it screeches but finds that the bird mirrors her defensive stance. The bird lets Tinia pet it. She notices its smell, so she bathes it. They play around in the tub but are disturbed when Matias tries to go in, so Tinia locks the door on him. During bedtime, the bird starts crying underneath her bed, so Tinia sings to it. Later, a dog's barking disrupts their sleep, so the bird crawls outside. 
Tinia wakes up to the bird on her and the headless corpse of Rita's dog beside her. Horrified, Tinia pukes, but the bird starts eating her vomit. In the morning, Tinia buries the dog's body, but Matias sees her from the window. In her room, Tinia sleeps beside the bird underneath the bed, but Matias bursts into the room with her father. Upset, Matias snitched on Tinia when she didn't let him use the bathroom. Though trying to reprimand her, their father notices the blood on Tinia's bed, assuming she's on her period, so he leaves with Matias. The next day, Tinia goes to the pet store to look at bird food. Retta finds her and asks if they have a bird, so Tinia says they might get one soon. Though the other girls called Tinia weird, Retta walks home with her. On the way, Retta asks Tinia for help in posting missing posters for her dog. At home, their mother gives Tinia a new hairbrush, but Matias gets upset when he doesn't get anything. He sees the missing dog poster that Tinia left behind, then runs off. Soon, Matias drops the corpse of Retta's dog on the table, snitching on Tinia. However, their parents think Matias is lying, so he pushes Tinia in anger. Seeing a shadow move in Tinia's room, Matias wears his mask and looks around the room. When he looks under the bed, the bird claws his mask off. While Matias backs away in fear, Tinia starts having a seizure in the living room. When she recovers, Tinia runs to the room to reprimand the bird, so their mother checks under the bed, but there's nothing there. Still, her mother notices the smell, so she checks the closet and finds the ruined gymnastics outfit. Tinia's mother gets angry at her, but Tinia notices that the bird is hiding on the top of the closet, so she shuts the closet immediately. That evening, Tinia traps the bird inside the closet, angry at it. When it whimpers, Tinia feeds it, but the bird doesn't budge, so she chews the bird food before spitting it out, which the bird eats. Calming it down, Tinia starts singing to the bird before noticing that it's slowly growing hair. Then, the bird coughs and Tinia hears it say, Ali, so she starts calling it that. Later, Ali comes out of the closet, wearing one of Tinia's dresses. It crawls out of her room when Matias finds it, mistaking it for Tinia. Ali's body morphs, looking humanoid, making Matias run away in fear. Then, it goes inside their mother's room and holds her hand before disappearing when the mother wakes up. Feeling the fluid on her hands, their mother notices the feather on the floor, so she walks around with a knife in her hand. Seeing Ali's reflection, the mother turns to face it but doesn't see anything. Suddenly, Matias hugs her from behind, surprising her. Scared, Matias says Tinia is a monster, but his mother thinks he had a nightmare. The next day, Tinia puts a flower on the bird's hair, calling it beautiful. During gymnastics practice, Tinia has fun with Retta. However, Tinia's mother isn't happy about her lackluster skills compared to Retta. While the two girls chat, Tinia's mother compliments Retta's skills, stressing that Tinia has to work harder to beat her. Meanwhile, locked in Tinia's closet, Ali tries bursting through. After practice, Retta walks home and starts feeling anxious as she feels something following her. In the car, Tinia tells her mother to turn back, but her mother doesn't listen. Retta soon starts running in fear. After a while, she stops and finds Ali in its humanoid form. Then, Tinia starts having another seizure in the car, so her mother hits the brakes. Trying to comfort her, her mother tells her that everything's okay and that she also felt nervous back when she used to be in skating competitions. Before driving back home, Tinia's mother suggests staying in Tara's home for a while because Tinia seems to be stressed at home. Upon returning to her bedroom, Tinia doesn't find Ali but notices its beak inside the closet. During breakfast, Tinia's mother announces that they're staying at Tara's house, despite Tinia's father being in front of them. Her father merely says that he respects whatever his wife wants, complimenting her for being strong-willed. At Tara's house, Tinia is given a warm welcome. Upon hearing an infant crying, her mother tends to Tero's baby, Helmi, and introduces her to Tinia, saying that her mother died in labor. That evening, Tinia is uncomfortable in the strange house with the baby crying. Suddenly, she notices Ali at the window, who looks more like a girl without her beak. She lets her in to share the bed. The next day, Tinia's mother takes photos of Tinia's breakfast before she can eat. Tara is uncomfortable sharing photos of his house with the world, so Tinia's mother promises to crop it so it doesn't look like his house. Then, Tinia watches as her mother dotes on Helmi. Tinia switches her focus on her breakfast, but quickly cleans the table when she spills food. Tara assures her that it's okay and even purposely spills food. The morning is interrupted when her mother hears news about Retta's situation. Later, Tinia visits Retta in the hospital and sees how bad her injuries are, with sutures everywhere and a missing hand. When Tinia tries to hold her, Retta grabs her and starts screaming, making Tinia run away. Back at Tero's home, Tinia cries, so when she sees Ali, she angrily asks why Ali harmed Retta. Though raising her hand on Ali, Tinia slaps herself instead, so Ali pulls her into a hug to comfort her as Tinia weeps. 
When she wakes up, Tinia sees that Ali starts to look identical to her. Later, Tinia visits Tara in the workshop, where Tara tells her that he likes fixing broken things. He then gives her a set of bar grips for her competition. Afterward, Tinia happily shows off her gymnastics to Tero, but she gets upset when she can't land an aerial cartwheel. Worried, Tara asks whether Tinia actually likes gymnastics, but she just says that it's a good sport. To comfort her, Tara shows her his cartwheel, which he fails at, making Tinia laugh. Hearing Ali's screech, Tinia runs to her room to feed Ali, but Tara follows. Though Tinia tries to shut the door, Tara forces it open, so Tinia hides behind the door instead. Seeing Ali feasting on the bowl, Tara thinks it's Tinia, so he says he'll call her mother. When Ali tries attacking Tero, Tinia shuts the door, but Tero's hand gets stuck. Tinia struggles as she pushes Ali away, finally freeing Tero's hand. Later, Tinia goes to Tero, who's bandaging his hand. She packed her stuff and plans to leave, so Tara doesn't have to see her again. However, Tara assures her that she doesn't have to go. Tara comforts her when she keeps apologizing and suggests talking about it with her mother. However, Tinia pleads to keep it a secret. Thus, Tara asks whether her outburst was about the competition, but Tinia can't answer right away, especially when her mom finally arrives to take her to the competition. Outside, her mother films her practice and pushes her to perfection. When Helmi cries, her mother immediately dotes on the child. Meanwhile, Tinia notices Ali looking from her bedroom window. Worried, Tinia insists on taking Helmi with them, but her mother refuses. At the competition, her mother streams the event, but Matias doesn't pretend to be happy anymore. Meanwhile, when Tero puts Helmi to bed, Ali stalks over to the baby's crib. During Tinia's routine, Ali raises an axe over the baby. Tinia senses what Ali is doing, so she purposely drops from the bar and hurts her hand. Ali also feels the pain and drops the axe. Just then, Tara gets to the bedroom, so Ali jumps out the window, leaving the axe beside the crib. Though Tinia wasn't badly injured, her mother isn't happy about the result of the competition. When they get back to Taro, he immediately berates Tinia. Confused, Tinia's mother asks what's going on, so Taro brings up what Tinia did a few moments ago. However, Tinia's mother insists that they just got back from the competition and asks whether Taro has been drinking. Telling them to go to hell, Taro points out that Tinia has serious problems that her mother overlooks, then decides he wants no part of it. That evening, Tinia's mother returns to the car with her packed belongings. When Tinia tries reaching out, her mother starts screaming and banging her head on the steering wheel. After wiping away her nosebleed, Tinia's mother turns to her, saying she wishes Tinia would let her be happy. Tinia cries on the way home while her mother doesn't care. When they get home, Tinia's father greets them, immediately worried about the bloody mess, but Tinia's mother just greets him with a kiss, saying Tinia insisted on going home. In her bedroom, Ali knocks on her window again, but Tinia doesn't want her anymore and pushes her off. After landing on the grass, Ali is noticed by Tinia's father, who thinks she's Tinia, so Ali slowly crawls away. Meanwhile, Tinia's mother covers the bruises on her face before vlogging an update from Tinia's competition. When Tinia approaches her, her upset mother simply says she smells, so Tinia takes a bath and meticulously scrubs herself. On the other hand, Ali returns to the bedroom and crawls inside the closet, so Tinia's father lets her be. However, her mother later pulls her out, saying she needs her for the vlog. Due to her appearance, Tinia's mother starts brushing her hair, but it gets pulled off from her scalp, making Ali screech in pain. When Ali claws at Tinia's mother, Tinia runs to pull Ali away from her, shocking her mother upon seeing them together. When Ali tries to attack again, Tinia shouts for her to leave, so Ali just screeches until her cheeks snap. Then she runs away. When Tinia's mother asks what she is, Tinia explains that she hatched her, but now she wants her gone, blaming Ali for everything. After comforting Tinia, they grab knives from the kitchen before hunting down Ali. Upon hearing a noise, the two hide in a corner but see that it's just Matias and Tinia's father. Tinia's mother tells them that there's someone who looks like Tinia around the house, so they're taking care of it. Matias smiles upon confirming that what he saw wasn't a nightmare. The two girls split up while Tinia's father watches over Matias as they lock themselves inside the room. Looking around Tinia's room, her mother finds the closet empty. When she turns around, however, Ali appears from behind and grabs her, making her drop the knife. Ali pins her down, but when she finally gets her hands on the weapon, she immediately stabs Ali's leg, which Tinia also feels. With the wounded Ali, Tinia asks what her mother will do, so her mother says that they're getting rid of her. However, Tinia starts feeling bad for the weeping Ali. Promising that everything will be okay, her mother strikes with a knife, but Tinia blocks the attack, getting herself stabbed instead. Horrified, Tinia's mother cries as Tinia falls on top of Ali. When blood gushes out, it pours directly into Ali's mouth. When Matias and their father arrive, they see the mother weeping while Tinia dies. 
Meanwhile, Ali's wounds start healing and her eyes turn fully human. She manages to call out to her mother before standing upright, looking like a new Tinia. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.